Welcome to Rock God. We're here in the shadows of the Experience Music Project, Paul Allen's cathedral to the guitar god himself, Jimi Hendrix. But today, we're not looking for a music legend. We're looking for America's best unknown guitarist. Five contestants have been selected from hundreds of applicants in this region. Five of the most awesome guitarists you'll ever see and hear. The best part is you are going to judge this week's winner from Seattle. So let's meet our first contestant, Bryce Boyd. I'm like a chameleon. I bounce around from style to style and I always try to play the perfect part for every song. The main reason I'm passionate about the guitar is when I was a kid, I guess there was an epiphany that I had where I just knew that I had to play it. Um, some of the music that I was listening to at the time was really guitar influenced and I was so young, I was like nine or ten, I had no idea what it was or even what those sounds were. I just knew that it just, it really just made me excited to hear it. And I think the defining moment for me was when my, my aunt said to me, you should play the guitar. And it was like the light bulb went on. I was like, yes. <laughs> That's what gets my juices going. You'll be rating our guitarists on three criteria on a scale from one to ten. That criteria will include their technical virtuosity, their originality, and their stage performance. Then uh, now we're going to move on to our next performer, Cloud McCann. <laughs> I started playing because uh, when I was little my dad used to play to me and he'd play um, folk songs and old hippie songs and lullabies and stuff and it just something that um, I enjoyed hearing as a kid kind of inspired me to want to do something similar. Working is for schmucks. I mean, if my passion is to play guitar, then that's what I gotta do. The fire! It's the best. You can't learn it. You, either you have it or you don't. You can be a wanker, a shredder, you can play rock and roll, bluegrass, whatever. But if you have it, then people will hear it and see it. And, well, you'll make it. That's all there is to it.
I have to say for two guitar players who really influenced me, I'd have to say it was Leslie West, who was a guitar player, basically became famous pretty much in the 70s, but he really played with a lot of power and strength, but very simple. I mean, his, his guitar playing can be very awe-inspiring and very, very melodic. The second guitar player is Mike Stern. Mike Stern plays very much like a jazz guitar player, but with the power and the strength of a, an electric rock guitar player. And he just plays with the mind of a jazz player, but the sensibilities and the kind of the clear thought of a rock musician. You know, the reason I got into guitar, I have to admit, is probably because of my mom. I remember whenever I was a kid and she used to play it all the time. Uh, she's probably the reason I got into it. Or maybe it's my brother playing his electric guitar all the time, I'm not sure. But you know, when I hear a solo, it's fucking magical. <laughs> I can't think of anything else that's more beautiful than hearing a guitar just ripping out a fucking solo, you know? I don't think of anything else other than guitar. If I don't have my guitar, might as well just shoot me. I mean, I'd go crazy without it. Uh, I'd say the real reason I got into it is because I needed a release. And it's the best release I could find. No other reason. The reason I play guitar, uh, the reason I started playing guitar, it wasn't really about art or the technique and learning to play guitar. It was about, you know, chasing girls, getting laid. That's what it was. Most guitar players, when they start out young, wanted to play rock and roll. It's not about, you know, I'm going to be the best guitar player. It really isn't. <laughs>
each episode of Rock God will contain a lesson from guitar meister John Memolo. Take it away, John. Today's lesson is going to be a descending harmonic pull-off, and this is how it's done. Take your index finger, your ring finger, second and fourth frets, G-string, and start a pull-off pattern. With your right hand, slightly mute the G-string and head towards the 12th fret. That's how it's done. Like it, live it, love it. We'll see you next time on Rock God. So there's the lineup from Seattle. All you need to do now is go online to rockgod.com and place your vote and rate their performances. You will have until noon tomorrow to pick this week's Rock God guitarist. We'll announce the Seattle winner at the top of next week's show when we'll be in New York to find America's next best unknown guitarist. But until then, don't forget the Rock God motto. Play it loud, play it proud. Thank <laughs> you.